Hi, I'm Carrick. Want to meet an environmental superhero? Today I'm in Roscoe, Texas, where the world's largest wind farm is almost complete. We'll meet the man who made it happen, a retired cotton farmer whose name is Cliff Etheridge. Let's go say hi. Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure, is brought to you in part by Energy Federation Incorporated, where saving energy is easy. I'm Cliff Etheridge, and, and uh, uh, I've lived here in Roscoe all my life. I've, uh, I was born uh, just about a block north of here in an old hospital that's not there anymore. And uh, except for four years in college, I've spent my whole life right here. Mr. Etheridge saw other wind farms in West Texas and wondered why they couldn't have a wind farm in Roscoe. After doing some research, he found out that they could. I believed in it enough. I believed in, in the wind energy business enough in this country right here where I live that I began to talk to my neighbors and my friends about it <clears throat> and the potential that we have here. And uh, the only thing left was to find somebody with hundreds of millions of dollars to come in here <laughs> and invest in a wind farm right here at Roscoe. Well, uh, that wasn't easy to do. A man in Philadelphia referred me to a brand new company in the United States uh, that's from Ireland, but they were located in Chicago. I called them and these people were interested uh, in building wind farms and, and I sent them a lot of information and I sent them a, uh, maps and everything I could, I could put together that would be of interest to them. And uh, they eventually sent some people down here to look at our farms and they decided this was an excellent site for a wind farm and we gradually got contracts and we got builders and we got windmills and now we've got a tremendous wind farm right here at Roscoe and it and it uh, uh, it was a long hard journey but it has certainly paid off it's 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 one of the best things that ever happened to our community how many turbines are there I believe with all four stages completed, it's about 631 windmills or turbines uh, in the Roscoe wind farm. And uh, when you add it all up together, that should be enough electricity for about a quarter of a million average size homes in the United States. That's a lot. Yes, it certainly is. Wind farms could produce all the energy that we need. Do you think we should? I think we need to produce all the energy we can from renewables. Uh, wind farms are just one part of that package. I believe we'll learn to use solar uh, cells, uh, other types of renewable energy. Uh, we probably will, will have to have uh, fossil fuels to, as a backup plan but I believe that to become energy independent, we're going to have to utilize all the wind resources we can. You put all these wind turbines up and now you're like an environmental hero. You need a cape and a medal. <laughs> There's so much wind here, if I had a cape, I'd probably blow away. <laughs> but no, uh, uh, this is just, an effort of one person that believes in something. Uh, if, and, and I honestly feel that, that we all have, are going to have a chance to, uh, to make a, a major contribution one way or another. And when you find something like this that's good and you believe in it, then it's, uh, it's, it's wrong not to pursue it. And, and I, uh, but I appreciate your <laughs> Superman thing. <laughs> That's good. A lot of kids and grown-ups feel like they can't do anything about it. What would you say to them? Don't give up. Don't ever quit. Uh, I'm 65 years old. I was over 60 before this opportunity presented itself. 
But if you honestly believe that if you continue to, to pay attention and to look around you, that you'll find something bigger than you are that you can, can benefit from and the whole world can benefit from. They always knew their way, just a waiting on time, taking the small steps they need to walk the walk and talk.